Hello, good evening. Anybody in there? Good evening, teacher. How are you, Iris? <laughs> I'm fine. I early today. Yeah, I'm present. And and uh, how was your how was your day at work? Oh, it's well. It's very busy. It's it's great because we expect a low job, but we have. A lot of jobs right now. You have a lot of work, yeah, I imagine. But that's great. That's yeah, great. A little early because uh, some buses have service today. Oh yeah, that's true. I remember that some buses are running, which is uh, which is great. That helps you to get your employees right uh, earlier to work, and uh, you don't have to pick them up too, right? Yeah, tomorrow maybe both. Because some uh, buses are running yet. I see. I see. Yeah, but is is near to my house. Oh, so they live near here. Yeah. All right. I like that. I like that. Hello, Omar. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Uh, I really don't feel well, teacher. What's the matter? I'll be here in class for a while because for uh, several days I have a several lower back pain. Oh, back, all right, backache. You, you've had a backache for how long? Backache. For how yeah, long? Yeah, today, the, yes. <laughs> the pain is more intense today. Um, it's more I intense. I would just like to like that, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, huh? Say again? I can be teacher. Uh, I don't know what she said. Okay, great. Well, guys, uh, in today's lesson, we will work on uh, indirect questions. Okay? So we'll first uh, have a little review on uh, yes or no questions. And uh, today's objective is to make yes or no indirect questions all right hello camila how are you hi good evening I'm good. good evening doing fine yes i'm good all right good all right great it's good to have you all right great so as i was saying we'll work on yes or no questions uh and uh, let's begin with this okay we are i'm going to show you some uh some words some words and uh you are going to make yes or no questions only all right just uh, yes or no questions let's see how this uh work how this works all right so first i will just give you uh some some words and you will help me making yes or no questions and we we'll discuss them we'll make our own and practice them too okay so uh let me share my screen with you all right here we go so let's see here all right omar what do you think how do you think this one goes it says you are from london is that the correct order you are from london how can we uh, how can we make this uh, correct? From London. All right, yes, yes, that is it, that is it. So we go I, right, you, from London. All right, and that's that should be it. All right, so it goes I, right, you, from London. Okay, great. Now uh, let's see. Then uh let's see the next one. Oh, um, Camilla, what about you? What do you think about this one? Number two. What's the correct uh, order for I, it? I think it's, uh, can Nelson have a pet? Okay, great. Can Nelson have a pet. All right. Great. Great. Very good. 
And uh, let's see the next one, uh, Omar, what about you? What do you think about this one? Hello, Romulo, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, it's great to have you. So uh, what, what do you think about this one? Um, who, do, who do you ask? Oh, Romulo, let, we are making yes or no questions. Can you help us uh, form, form a yes or no question with these words, please? Thank you. Make a sentence. Uh, a question. Yes. Question. No question. Like, uh, like for example, are you okay? For example. All right. Here goes. I have yes. something in the chat here. So they Arabella says, do they have horses? Do you agree with Arabella? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you? Yes. You, you agree with me? Yes, I do. Okay, great. So do they have, have horses? horses? Great, yeah. great. Very good, very good. All right, great. Uh, let's see. Now let's ask uh, somebody else. So I guess this time, uh, okay, I think Omar is gone. So uh, I guess this time, Iris, you are next. How about this one? Do we need tomatoes for the pizza? Okay, so we go, do we need tomatoes for the pizza? It sounds about right, yes? Okay, great. All right, next one, please. Camilla, can you help? Does, does your father love fish and chips? Does your father love no. fish and chips? It sounds about right. Yes, okay, great. Very good. How about here? Mm, how about this one, uh, Arabella? What about this one? Uh, maybe there is a ruler in your closing. There is a ruler in your closing. Your school bag, school bag. All right. So let's see. There is a ruler in your school bag. Okay, do you, does everybody else agree on this one? No, I no. think no. he's there. He's I'm there. there oh, I see, I see, okay, let's okay. do Okay, no he's there. A ruler in, in your school, school bag. bag. Good, bag. good, very good. All right, great, uh, let's see. Romulo, how about this one? Can you help us doing this one? Do you know, do you know a good name? All right, do you know a good name? All right, do you know a good name? All right, great. Uh, we're about to finish, let me see. Yeah, just three more. Next one, uh, how about this one? Please, Aries, how about this one, please? Uh, do your parents like tea or coffee? Okay. Do who your parents like tea or coffee? Great. And the uh, next one, please, uh, Camilla, help us with this one. Um, do you live in the country? Do you live? Yes in the country great and uh last one last one uh i guess i'm gonna ask all right mario and maria are here so let's ask mario mario we're making uh yes or no questions can you help us please hi okay hello, uh, hello. 
yes. Mm -hmm. they say yes or no question. Which mm -hmm. question? So you make a question like a yes or no question. Uh, uh, Does like, your brother play football? Ah. Oh. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Just the first word. Correct the first word. Can you, can you say that again, uh, Maria, please? Excuse me? Can you say it again, please? Does, mm -hmm. uh, does your brother play football? Yeah, yeah. Or your dog, yes? Mm -hmm. Does your brother play football? Okay, I think I missed the word, huh? My bad. Oh, yeah. Does who your brother play football? It sounds just about right. Hey, look at this. These are simple yes or no questions, okay? So you just asked, are you from London? What is your answer to this? Yes, I am or no, I'm not. Yeah. All right. How about this one? Can uh, Nelson have a pet? What can be the answer to this? Yes, he has or no, he hasn't. Mm, are you sure? Yes, he can or no. Oh, I yes, can't. Can. Yes, I can't. All right. Are you Nelson? Are you Nelson? I think. Uh, no, he can. Uh, all right. Yes, good. He can. No, he can't. can't. All right. Good. That's great. That's great. How about this one? The ne next one goes, uh, do they have horses? All right. How about this one? What can be the answer to this one? Yes, they have. No. Mm, are you sure? Simple present, simple present. Do they have horses? Let's they, yes, they do. No, they don't. 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 Great, great. All right, very good. So look, with all of these, uh, with all of these words, uh, we just made yeah, simple yes or no questions. Okay just to introduce and to practice, uh, practice uh, yes or no questions a little more. But now uh, we are going to, we're going to work on uh, making our own yes or no questions, all right? You can use any tense, any form. You can use the simple present. You can use the uh, can or can't. There is or there are. Uh, the present perfect, name any, you name it, any tense, you can use any of them. But the point is that you make your own questions and we will discuss it with, uh, you will ask these questions to a group of classmates. Very quick. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. Please, I'm going to give you three minutes for you to make three questions yes or no questions please let's be clear on what yes or no questions are they are just like this look at the look at this structure look at this we have here uh an auxiliary like are you All right plus the subject plus uh plus a complement in this case all right, and don't forget question mark. Over here, uh, we have um, we have again, you know, we have again uh, an auxiliary plus uh, subject plus do you a verb? Okay, do you have? Do you go? Do you play? Do you eat? Plus, uh, let me see verb plus complement if available, all right? And question mark. So you're going to make similar questions. Please, right now, right now, don't come up with where do you, how do you? Make quest simple questions, yes or no questions, like auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. One more time, what's the structure for these questions, Maria? What's the structure? Uh, three, Three sentence about a uh, um, simple question or yes. simple, uh, uh, yes. And 
uh, um, use auxiliary, my subject, and complement. Okay, great, great. So those are that's the type of questions we're making. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to give you three minutes. All right, so you make your questions. All right, make your questions, each of you, in a piece of paper. All right, everybody has to have uh, three questions, three questions. All right. Three questions. Time is running. I just uh, wait in, wait in. All right, over here I have a message. Please do it on the. All right, do you work very hard? All right, do you work? I know that. Don't forget the auxiliary. All right, like this. Okay, are you ready? Do you have your questions? Three questions, but teacher. Three. Okay. Mm
time. Three questions. All right. Good. Now uh, let's go ahead and uh, group in uh, group up. Let's work on. Uh, let's work in small groups and uh, and discuss our questions. All right. So take. Uh, so go ahead and get them ready. Please uh, accept my invitation. Here we go. You're about to receive an invitation. Here we go. All right, great. Maria, do you have the invitation? Hey, Leda. Leda, where are you? Um, <laughs> Great. Hey, look, uh, I will send you to a group. We are discussing uh, questions, yes or no questions. So uh, just answer the questions they, they ask you, all right? Don't worry if okay. you don't have any for now, okay? So okay. let me send you to a group. All right, there you go. Please accept the invitation. Off you go. Yes, of course, my father. Uh, Yes, my parent is near to, to me. Okay. Let me ask your question. Okay, my question. Are you from San Salvador? Yes, I am. Okay. Can any of your friends write with your left hand? Repeat. I repeat again. Please. Can any of your friends write okay. with the left hand? Yes, I know one. Okay. <sighs> Tercera pregunta. Can you jump? Can you jump more than one meter away? Jump. You mean? Can you jump more jump. than one meter away? Oh no! I no, I can't. <laughs> I'm very <Okay>. small. <laughs> My legs doesn't <laughs> jump like, oh, that's that's so far. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, finish the shirt, the question. Okay, you finished, right. which is great. All right, I'll go check on another group, all right? Okay. Let's see another one here. What's this? Does she Does live, she live alone? Uh, alone. 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 Uh, yes, she does. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, uh, Romulo, do you like dogs? Yes, I do. Yes, Camila, do you like dogs? Yes, I do. Yes, 
Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, second question. Uh, do you work on Monday, and Camila? Repeat, please. Do you work on Monday? Mm, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Romulo, do you work on Mondays? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. And... <laughs> eh, el último, last. Do you like... Okay, and... Um, Mario, can you see? Can you repeat this? I can. And um, can you see? Ah, no, I don't. <laughs> okay, and um, Maria, do you have children? Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, Mario, are you, are you single? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, All right, good. Have you guys finished? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, great, great. Very good. So I guess uh, we will return to the main session. Right, great, everybody coming back. Yes, yes, everybody coming back. All right, very good. Okay, good. So now uh, we are going to, we're going to reuse your Yes or no questions, and we will make indirect questions, okay? Let's see if, is everybody back? All right, let's wait. Let's just wait a minute. Okay, great. Great. Um, yeah, I was, I was telling your, your, your classmates, we are going to, we're going to reuse your questions and uh, make indirect questions. So far, you asked direct questions, straight. Like, uh, for example, do you have a pet? Do you like dogs? Uh, do you live in the countryside? Or uh, are you, let me see, are you at home right now? Direct questions. I want to hear some of these examples, please. Can you give me some of your questions? Can you read uh, some of your questions for me, please? Let's begin uh, with Camila, please, go ahead. Uh, do you ride a bike? Okay, good, continue, continue. Um, the other question? Yeah, please, go ahead. Okay. Can you cook lasagna? Can you cook, all right, that's great. All right, next, please. She does she dance ballet? Good, good, like it. Hey, next, uh, let's see, Romulo, can you share yours, please? Um, are you run every day? It's uh, run, run is a verb. Let's use the correct auxiliary. Let's continue, continue. I will see okay. you. Okay, mm -hmm. do you play basketball? Good, good, all right, great. Bas does she live alone? Okay, good. Those are good questions. Uh, who do you mean she? Probably your sister, your, your, oh, yeah. yeah, that can be, all right? Okay. All right, good, good. All right, like it. Uh, 
let's see. Please, um, Mario, can you read yours? Okay. For example, do you like Chinese food? Mm -hmm. Good, continue. Can you drive? All right, good. And are you learning in English class? Are you learning? In All right, good, good. Like it? Hey, what about uh, Maria? Can you read yours, please? Okay. Um, do you have a pet? Um, do you eat pupusa every weekend? Mm -hmm. And do you like a do you like a coffee? Do you like coffee? Yeah. All right. That's good. Uh, mm -hmm. That's good. And uh, oh, Aleida didn't have it. So let's ask uh, Omar and then Arabella. Please, Omar, go ahead. Okay, are you from San Salvador? Mm -hmm. yeah. the, second, the second is, can any of your friends write with their left hand? Right. And the third question is, can you jump more than one meter away? Mm -hmm. Great, very good. Uh, let's listen to Iris. Um, do you have any pets? Mm -hmm. Are you a teacher? Yes. Does your parents no. like the Christmas? All right, all right. And, uh, okay, yeah, those are good. Arabella, please go ahead. Okay, uh, do you like pizza? Uh, do you like dogs? Mm -hmm. um, uh, do you work on Mondays? Those are good questions. Yeah, those are very good questions. All right. Now, uh, what we're going to do is this. I will show you how to make indirect questions. Again, these are direct questions, right? Straight, straight questions, you know, yes or no answer. But now we'll learn how to make indirect questions. Let me share this with you and take a look at it. It's very simple. Okay, here we go. So uh, please, uh, please, Maria. Is, is Maria still here? Yes, yes, yeah, I'm yeah, here. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, Maria. Can you read the the heading of this table, please? Okay. Use indirect question to ask question in a more polite manner. An indirect question express the same meaning as a direct question, but it doesn't not present question word order. All right, good. So it's a little different than your questions. I will show you how. Please, uh, please, Mario, can you read the examples on the left, please? Okay, number one, A. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you received a copy of the analyst for the production process compared to one dot B. Did you receive a copy of the analyst for the production process? Continue. To dot E. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Compared to. Yeah, continue, please. Should the quality control step, step be repeated? once the product is finished. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, you, hey you guys, now I have a question for everybody. Hey, what's the difference here? What's the difference between these questions and your questions? What is the difference between these questions and your questions? 
these are more specific they're more specific and uh, wh what else sound doesn't have the question mark uh, all right okay good anybody else what else is the difference please All right, somebody else, somebody else. Let's see. He used a modal verb. Oh, okay, that's good. You use a modal verb or a phrase, right? Modal phrase. What modal phrases do you see here? Cool, angle. Okay, shiggle. good. Good, very good. Very good. And uh, let's continue. Let's continue here. And the uh, I want you to I want you to look at this, please. Um, <clears throat> Camilla, can you read the highlighted part? Okay. Um, this notice. Okay. Notice. Notice that if introduce the indirect question, we will have sentence order. Mm -hmm. uh, sentence order. Uh, subject plus verb, helping verbs like do does. And these are not included in direct question. Okay. Yeah, notice here. For example, compare sentence A to sentence B. All right. 1A to 1B. Can you read them again? Can you read them again, uh, Romulo, please? I wonder if you received a copy of the analyze, analyze for analysis for the production yeah. mm -hmm. analysis for the production process. Okay, and uh, look at the next one. Did you receive a copy for the analysis for the production process? Uh huh. Good. And look, uh, he he's even uh, he's even stressing that he's even using using intonation like, are did you receive? Notice the difference. This is already in past. It looks like a question. And here we use a phrase like, I wonder, I like to know. And, oopsie, and uh, would you mind telling me? Could you find out? So we use these phrases to make the questions. And also, and also we use if, right? So, a little challenge here for you and for everybody, but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. I have a little challenge for you, uh, for everybody, but we'll first uh, check on these examples. Uh, please, Aleda, can you read the ones on the right? Number one, please. This one is. Marta, would you mind telling uh, us the cost? to run a second quality control will go very high. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, continue. Compare to, will the cost to run a second quality control go very high? Okay, that's good, that's good. And uh, Anna Lillian, can you read uh, the next ones, please? Number yes. two. Okay. All right, thank you. Great. Could you find out if the production manager is around? Compare into. Uh, is the product manager around? Okay, good. So can you can you guys uh, see the difference here? Yeah, can you see the difference between question A and question B? In one of them, we what's the difference between question one and question b it's a very foreign polite okay it's um uh, which one is more polite omar more polite uh it's the 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 first uh, a the one number one all right one a it's more polite okay more polite would you Mm -hmm. the All right. Question marks. 
question marks. Yes, that's another point. And what else do you see in there? What else is different? The auxiliary is reemplazed by the if. Okay, we do not use an auxiliary. We use the word if. That's good. The auxiliary is replaced, just like Camilla said. Very good. Very good. So um, now, little challenge for everyone. Hey, can you change your questions from, uh, from activity one, your first set of questions, to indirect questions? You have direct questions in your hands. Those are the ones, the ones you did. But can you change your questions for indirect questions? For example, uh, I'm going to make one of yours into indirect questions. Let me ask, um, all right, let's ask Arabella. Can you ask me one of your questions, please? Arabella? Hello, I don't understand. Uh, can you read one of your questions one more time for me, please? Read one question. One of your questions from the last activity. Ah, okay, very good. No moment. Is do you like pizza? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, well, let's use that one. Let's use that one. Uh, for example, Arabella said, do you like pizza? Look what I do with her question. Can you read another, please? Uh, Camila, do no, you, you like... You, you, you uh, read another of your questions, please. Uh, okay, other question. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Camila, do you... Do you live in in Montesión? Oh, okay. Let, let's take it like this. So, for example, she asked, ah, okay. uh, do you live in Montesión, okay. right? Uh -huh. All right, uh -huh. let's stop it there. Let's stop it there. So, she just said, do you live in Montesión? So, what we do is this. To make her simple question, do you live in Montesión? Uh -huh. I think it's got a tilde somewhere, yeah. Okay, do you live in Montesión? To make, this is a direct question, okay? Direct question. This, that's what. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Fine, fine, all right, this is what it is. But I, what I want you guys to do is, uh, is this. I want you to make your questions, I want you to turn your questions into indirect questions like this look at my example yes all right look at my example look at this i use a phrase like can you tell me if you live in montesion you you feel you feel my do you see my point can you see the difference? Can you tell me if you live in Montesión? Now, do you remember any other introductory phrase for this? Can you, are you, I'm using, can you tell me? Do you remember other phrases to introduce uh, yes or no, uh, to introduce uh, indirect questions? Do you remember any other? I have here, can you tell me? Can you remember any other? Let's, Will you tell me? Oh, all right. Would you tell me? Yeah. Would you tell me? Would you tell me if, right? And we just go on with the same. All right. Another phrase. Please, everybody, let's wake up. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Teacher, could, could you tell me? Yeah, that's it. That's another. Good job. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? And we go if. Good evening. Good evening. Are you feeling better today? 
could you tell me if you can jump one meter, one meter away? Uh -huh, one meter, all right, one meter long. Yeah, that's, that's okay. So now what you're going to do is this. In a simple, super simple practice, what we're gonna do is uh, making our questions into these questions. You see my point? Changing, uh, changing your, changing your direct questions into indirect questions. Is it clear? All right, well, let's see if it's clear. So Mario, what are you going to do in the next activity? We are going to modify our question to be more indirect question like use can you tell me if can would you all right would you tell me if or could you tell me if great great very good so let's do it let's do it uh let's do it on your own okay just uh if you have any question please let me know through the uh let me know you can also send uh text me send me a message through the chat okay so let's make it let's do it let's make our own questions let us change the order in the punctuation and it all too all right good oh look at this we have a text mm, close but do not use the please phrase Look at this structure, please. Let's see. I'm gonna give you more examples of, of phrases, of introductory phrases here. Like for example, can you, I wonder if, Mm -hmm. Let's see, I have, um... yeah, that's great. Well done, Anna Lillian. All right, uh, please, when you, are, when you are ready, give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Don't remember that we can use uh, Zoom's reactions. So when you finish, you give me a thumbs up. All right. Okay, lots of text coming in. That's great. So tell me if it is possible to come to my house tonight. And yeah, that sounds good, Omar, but uh, All right, that's okay. That's good. See more texts in here.
Okay. That's a uh, good job, Arabella. They are they are improving. They look better. Okay, great. So I I was uh, looking, and I think we have uh, we have a uh, better questions now. They they're very good. They're really good. Would you tell me? Yeah, great, good. Hey, as to punctuation, there there are just a few. Yeah, great, great. Now uh, let's let's do this. Uh, as to punctuation, there are there is just one thing uh, I want you to remember. If your introductory phrase is a question, you use a question mark. And if it's not a question, you don't. Look at these examples. Here, look at this punctuation. When the introductory segment is a phrase, the resulting statement will take a period at the end. Okay? So if you say, I wonder, I would like to know, or I'd like to know, uh, does not take a question mark. Okay? Look, I'd like to know if the blah, 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 blah is finished, period. On the other hand, would you mind, oh, an auxiliary, all right? Would you mind telling us? Question mark. Could you find out if the production, oh, could you find out? That's a question, all right? So we use a question mark. Look at the difference, no question mark. I wonder, verb, not auxiliary, right? Okay, but, but your, your examples look pretty good. They look really good. I like them very much. All right, and in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna open a discussion, and in there, I want you to type your best example okay i want you to type in there your best example so give me just a second guys i'm gonna open that discussion for you to leave it there and uh yeah let's go ahead and who else wants to read their examples please who wants to read their examples uh, let's hear uh, Romulo's. Can you read yours, please? Uh, Aries, can you? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but just read them. Yeah, and the, the direct question is, uh, do your parents like the Christmas? And indirect questions, maybe, I think. Will you tell me if your parents the Christmas like? Mm -mm -mm. Would you tell me if your parents like Christmas? Like Christmas. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like Christmas. Like Christmas. Backwards. But it's fine. It's, it's getting better. 
All right, great. Uh, Maria, can you read, uh, can you read uh, yours, please? Okay. Um, will you tell me if you like a cat? If you like cats, yeah. Okay, fine, continue. Ah, you read another, no, please. No, uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if you eat pupusas every weekend? Great. Like, are you a doctor? <laughs> like, are you a nutritionist? <laughs> mm, mister, <laughs> you have a lot of overweight. Can you tell me if you eat pupusas every night? <laughs> that that sounds, yes. sounds like that. All right, fine. Continue. <laughs> One more, please. Could you tell me if I... Could you tell me if you like coffee? Great. That's good. That is great. I have a question. Uh, I don't understand when you. S I wonder if. Oh, okay. Um, let let's let's review it. Okay, let's review it. No problem. I wonder if. All right. So it goes like this. You can use you can use it instead of any other phrase, so it, it's up to you. O sea, it, eso depende de usted. No hay problema. O sea, there isn't a difference between between I wonder, I'd like to know. Sino que lo que lo que eh, es cuestión es cuestión suya. O sea, usted puede elegir cualquiera de esas frases para hacer su pregunta. Lo único que si digamos Usted utiliza la frase I wonder o I'd mm -hmm. like to know, le sigue un punto. ¿Ok? Porque es un verbo, ¿verdad? Sigue con un verbo. I wonder. Wonder es un verbo. I mm -hmm. would like to know. No. Pero mm -hmm. aquí decimos Would you mind? Could you find out? Can you tell me? Esa es una estructura de pregunta. Entonces ahí se utiliza el question mark. So, eh, cuando utilizar I wonder, eso es, su, su, eh, eso es eh, cuestión suya. Por ejemplo, le puedo decir, I wonder if you live in the, if we live in the same neighborhood, for example. O también puedo decir, mm, can you tell me if we live in the same neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Al final preguntó lo mismo. Lo único que hizo fue cambiar de frase. Es cuestión, okay. de, es cuestión suya. O sea, usted puede elegir la frase que usted desee. Yeah. Okay. And it's the Thank same you. result. All right. Good. Good. Oh, Mary, you look like you're, you look a little tired. Are you? Yes, good? teacher. I you am a little tired. All right. Hey, let, let me run attendance. Okay. I'll just go ahead and run attendance now because uh, it's time to do it. And uh, we'll continue with this in just a minute. Okay. So, Jose Enrique de la O Salazar no está presente. Let's continue over here. Katia Maria Soriano de Santana no asiste. Gladys Aminta Galdames Merino tampoco. Ana Grisel Iglesias Hernández tampoco. Romulo Pompilio Torres. Romero Torres. Present teacher. The man is in the house. Great. Iris Dorotea Sánchez Figueroa Acevedo. It is. I'm here. Okay, great. Claudia Evelyn Hernandez. Claudia. Claudia. Mm, I'm worried. Okay, Maria Belen Quintanilla Barquero. Maria Belen. Present. Got you. Thank you. Cesar Vladimir Rugamas. No está presente. Omar Imer Gámez Linares. Present, teacher. Thank you. And uh, Ana Lilian Gonzalez de Peraza. Present teacher. That's you. Uh, Shane Soar uh, Deming Cabrera. Uh, Shane's not here yet. Arabella Parada Gámez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Mario Enriquez Marquez Laya. Present teacher. Thank you. Gloria Beatriz Alegría Orellana. No está presente. Elías Samuel Orellana Pérez, tampoco. Adolfo Jonathan Rodríguez Parada. 
Jonathan, not here yet. Aleida Elizabeth Juarez de Guevara. Present. Thank you. And Andrea Elizabeth Siwensa Mejia. Yeah. Present. Got you. Thank you. Okay, great. Great, thanks. Teacher, I'm here to. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hang on. Ah, si la tenía hasta abajo, perdón. Sorry about it. Camila Calles Minero. Present. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Just a second. Printing. All right. Very good. Very good. So, uh, yeah, let's continue. So, where were we? Yeah, reading your questions. Exactly. Where we were we were uh, reading your questions. So now what we're going to do is uh, sharing more more of our questions. So um, uh, one more example, please. Let's see, uh, Aleida, can you read some of your questions in, uh, in uh, indirect form, please? Okay, um, I wonder if you are married? I am. Now that's a good question. All right, continue. I'd like to know if you can drive a motorcycle. Great. If you can drive a motorcycle, yeah, that's good. Continue, continue. Would you tell me, would you tell me if, can you sing? Can you, would you tell me if you can see, okay? If you can see. Uh, questions, uh, sentence structure, all right? But they're they're very good, present, very good. Hey, Aleda, you pick somebody else, somebody who's not participated yet. Would you repeat, please? Sorry, can you select another classmate? Uh, okay, Andrea. <laughs> all right, all right, good. You're Paul, Andrea. So, uh, Andrea, now, uh, please, can you read <laughs> some of your questions, please? And you guys, please, the rest of you, let's keep the camera on. Uh, Enza Forb requires okay, us to keep did. our camera on. Yes, please, go ahead. Can you tell me if you have more money? That's a good question and I don't. All right, continue. Can you get coffee? Say again. Mm, only that teacher. Can you repeat the second, please? Only that. Oh, you, you only have one. No, that's all right. You came late. Uh, Mario, can you share? Can you share yours, please? Okay. Uh, one is. Can you tell me if, if you can? If you have a car? Great. That's good. Continue. Um, I would like to know if you are learning in English class. All right. That's good. Right. Um, I wonder if you like Chinese food. Perfect. Perfect. Like it. Uh, let's see. Hey, there are two Arabellas in here. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Anna Lillian, can you share yours, please? And remember, everybody, keep your camera on. Uh, it's, uh, we're required to. Yes, teacher. Sorry, okay. but I have problems with my computer. Uh, okay, yeah, don't worry. If sorry, it... it's because I, I work with a Wi-Fi teacher, sorry. Oh, but I, I have, but I Don't have worry, it. don't worry, just... Uh, the... Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so but I have my... <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Um, did you receive uh, emails from the customers? Mm -hmm. And uh, can you make that make it an indirect question, please? Can you make that question an indirect question? Like, can Andrea. you tell me? I wonder if. Uh, would you mind telling me? Um, 
let me see. Oh, Andrea, will you tell me where is the supermarket close to here? Or if, if. Yes. All right, all right, if, all right, say it if, again. Uh, if there okay. is. Will you tell me <laughs> if there is a supermarket close to here? If, right, if there is. If, if <laughs> this, I have. All right, so yes, there is. All right, that's good. Hey, okay. let's see, uh, continue. Read the rest, please. Read the others. Okay. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. If uh, you don't have more, it's okay. Let's ask uh, Iris. Iris, can you read the others, please? Can you read your questions, please? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to know if you have any pets. All right, that's good. Continue, please. Um, can you tell me if you are a teacher? If you're a teacher, all right, that's great. Like it. Uh, do you have another? Um, the first I, I was asking the could you tell me if your parents like the Christmas? Like Christmas? Yeah, like that is good. I like it. Uh, Aravera, can you read yours, please? Aravela, you are mute. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, um, the, the, this question is the, the document or create la pregunta que voy a leer es la del document. No, your questions, the ones you made. Oh, okay. uh, Aravela, just, just one thing, sorry, sorry. Está, está logueada dos veces, o sea, aquí hay dos Aravelas. Si okay. está en dos dispositivos, sálgase de uno, porque se le oye un eco. Ok, ahora sí, ya solo es en uno. Muy bien, please. Es que en la compu no tengo cámara. Ya se fue, pero... Ya estoy. Ah, ah, y... <ríe> ya, ya se fue el clon. Solo está la verdadera ahorita. <ríe> All right. Go ahead, please. Ok. Um... Uh, could you tell me what time does the store open? What time? Okay, ¿qué dijimos sobre el auxiliar does? ¿Qué dijimos sobre el auxiliar does? Ajá, ¿lo does. cambiamos por qué palabra? Camila, ¿por qué palabra cambiamos el auxiliar does? For if. Ajá, okay. Can you say your question again, Arabella? Um, could you tell me? What time if the store open? Mm, okay, all right. Uh, acuérdense que estamos hablando de uh, yes or no questions. O sea, preguntas que son de yes or no. If the store is ah, open, ajá. for example. Solo preguntas que le van a responder yes or no. Sí o no, yes sí. or no. Ajá, tiene otra. Vamos a ver si está bien. Ay, ha de estar mal. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Don't be mean to yourself. Right. Uh, and other question is, um, aquí la tengo. Ah, pues creo que no. All right. Don't you worry. We will have more more time for. For, for working things out. All right. Uh, now we're going to we're going to look at more examples. Uh, we're going to make our own. We're going to practice with more examples from your from your manual, from your students booklet. So 
look at this uh, short practice here. All right, this is in your booklet. It's on uh, what page 28. Hmm. All right, so I want you to please, I want you to please uh, make questions with this, these phrases, all right? So please, when you finish them, uh, send them here in the chat, okay? So number one, look at this. This is how you're gonna make it. Use the introductory phrases and questions to write yes or no questions. And you compare your answers, all right? So let's do it in our, um, in our uh, in the chat all right so in the chat you write your answers and then we compare right we're gonna be quiet just for a minute and then uh, send your answers all right we've got one we've got a text let's see what it is about all right Mm. All right, let's keep going, please. Uh, all right, can you tell me if the machinery is capable of? Yeah, that's good. Good job, Camila. Yeah, great job, Mario. Let's continue. Number one is done. Camila and Mario did it. Let's continue with number two. You can still make the others on your own, on your on a notebook, on a piece of paper. That's or or on on the, on your computer's notebook. That's fine. All right, more text. Let's see what's up. You know my father. Yes, Arabella. Can you make the ones in the screen, please? Can you make the ones in the screen, please? All right. Let's see over here over here all right good uh camilla says yeah i'd like to know the manufacturer uh all right good let's keep trying number two please All right, good, good. Let's do number two. Don't be afraid. Let's do number two, number three. You can do it, guys. All right, we've got more text in here. Worms. Uh huh. It's missing one.
All right. All right, good. Mm-hmm. We're still missing some. Remember, guys, uh, we follow sentence uh, structure. All right, boy. I said I'm gonna make uh, one of these, so you can uh, so you can see the examples. Uh, I mean, so you can take it into account. For example, uh, for example, number two. Let's make number two. Okay, here it says, "I'd like to know." I'd like to know if, okay, the manufacturer, y que sigue aquí, que en, en que tiempo está esto, what, what uh, tense is this? Past. Uh, future. Future, okay, como formamos el futuro? Uh -huh. futuro. Okay. Build. Uh, okay, if the manufacturer will will buy new machinery to produce blah blah blah. All right. So don't forget to look at the tense. No, no, no olvidemos ver el, el tiempo verbal que estamos utilizando y lo replicamos. Okay. But uh, just uh, remember to use if in instead of the in the position of the auxiliary. All right. So uh, I, again, let's do it again. I would, uh, sorry, I like, okay. I like to know if the manufacturer will use, okay, will use or will, will what? Will buy. Uh, will buy machinery, okay, will buy, okay. Will buy machinery uh for what i'm covering it to produce our orders on time to produce our orders on time like it okay and a period look because it's i like to know all right we're gonna do number three together all right i think we need we need to do all of this together it kind of works better for everybody to do them together all right let's work on uh oh, jesus uh let's work on number number three please number three all right uh please anna lillian help us doing number three okay so here we go let uh please start do you know mm -hmm. do, you, let, do you know are the struggle and production control forms complete uh-huh what did we say about uh what did we say about uh the word r or the, any other auxiliary mm -hmm. um, we change it for the word camilla what word do we change it for <laughs> <laughs> camilla are you there yeah. Uh, what do we change the auxiliary for? If, if is the word. <laughs> the word if. Okay. <laughs> if. Uh huh. If. if the, schedule mm -hmm. the schedule in the if production. Control forms complete. Yeah, aquí le hace falta un verbo. Control forms. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. there you go, R complete. R, R. Mm -hmm. oh. And uh, hey, let me let me ask you, uh, do I use a uh, question mark in here or, or no? Yes, because. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because here we have a question structure, right? Tenemos una tipo, una estructura de pregunta, verdad? 
nuestra frase uh -huh. uh, la, the, the phrase is a uh, is a the question phrase so yes we have to all right good thank you thank you hey guys let's continue another one uh number four i guess the patterns are a little complex hey let's continue number four so um who do i ask mary mary let give me a hand uh give me a hand with the number four Oh, I think Jonathan has it. If the operation plan describe, all right. Look, Jonathan has this. You guys tell me if it's okay or not, or if it's missing something. Please tell me if it's missing something. Does it falta algo? Is it missing something? Describes operations. Uh -huh. Plural. Okay, all right. That's good. That's good. Operations. And uh, Mario said describes. Okay, why? Because it, it has it's like a sentence, all right? I like to find out if if uh, the operation plan describes the process parameters. Porque decimos describes. Acuérdese, veamos qué tiempo verbal es. Tercera, uh, tercera persona. Ajá, en el simple present. Primero, siempre, don't forget this. This is key. This is key to, to make this exercise right. Uh, the, the, we have to check the form. Siempre vean el tiempo verbal. Si es simple present, si es el verb bien simple present, si es el verb bien en past is future whatever it is first look at the tense that's uh that's key it's very important that you look at the at the tense all right great great but but it was a, it was a nice try jonathan well done uh, and uh, and thanks for helping mario uh, yeah now let's continue so number five number five how does it go um anybody Do you have, teacher? Yeah, that's good. Continue. Do you have any idea? Mm -hmm. Go on. If, mm -hmm. if we go for a small batch. All right. Or mass mm -hmm. production. Yeah, it, it's, it's closed. Let's uh, see what is it missing let me see you said do you have any idea right do you have any idea if we go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is it missing something and get tiempo estamos what 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 tense are we using here uh, so what what are we missing to make a future sentence mm -hmm. well uh, there you go. Will okay. If we will go for uh, a small batch, that's important as production. Production. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, do you have any idea? Question mark, right? Because it's it's a question. Like it. Thank you. Um. All right. Just missing number six. Anybody, does anybody want to help with number six? Anybody else? Does anybody else want to help with number six? I wonder mm -hmm. if, i wondering if, uh -huh. if you receive. Uh -huh. ¿En qué tiempo está esto, Mario? In past. Uh -huh. Entonces, receive, lleva de o no? Yes. Uh, okay, good, good. Go on, go on. I'm going to take notes in here. I was wondering if you received mm -hmm. the quotas of the raw material provider. If you received the quotes, okay, quotes. 
of the raw material in the hey let me ask uh, let me ask uh, Romulo period or question mark what what do you think period or question mark period great that's the man well done yeah period it's not a question look guys i uh, probably here you know what what i think probably does it uh we need we need more practice in uh probably because this is uh these are sentences with more uh more complex vocabulary but let's check out easier sentences okay and please if you can make this on your on your manual or, or in a separate piece of paper take notes in there okay uh, let's have more practice on this. All right. Puedo quitar la pantalla? Yes. Can I? Uh, yeah. Okay. Great. Great. Let's continue. We, we're going to have more practice making more questions. And uh, let's check on this. All right. All right, great. So now we're gonna take a look at uh, more at uh, some some of these questions, some of these examples, and uh, we will practice them. All right. So uh, I'm gonna show you some examples in here, and uh, then we're gonna we're gonna make our own. All right. But first, let's listen to two people using these questions okay here we go let me show it to you here on the screen Let's play it here. I'm so glad we decided to come to Brighton. Yeah, so much better than going to the Poxy World Cup in Germany. Let's sit here on the beach with a perfect spot for an ice cream. Oh, look at that guy over there. He looks nice. Oh, and handsome. <clears throat> I thought you were here with me. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Can we help you? I wonder if you could tell me where Brighton Pier is. It All right. Did you hear that one? What was the question? I wonder. Let Let's hear again. Let's repeat. All right. Repeat, please. Yeah, we will repeat. Don't worry. He looks nice. Tall and handsome. <clears throat> I thought you were here with me. Excuse me? Oh, hello. Can we help you? I wonder if you could tell me where Brighton Pier is. Mm -hmm. So he said, what did he say? I wonder if you... If you can tell me. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Don't worry. Probably that. Probably those words might might be a little uh, might be new for you, but it's okay. I wonder if you could tell me where. This is a very popular beach in in England, I guess. All right, where Brighton Pier is. Okay. I wonder if you could tell me where Brighton Pier is. All right, good. Let's continue. Let's continue listening. It's right over there. Oh, of course it is. Silly me. Thanks. Bye. Come on, uh, how about that ice cream now? Oh, no. I can't find my purse. It must have been that man. Oi, you, stop. 
I'll get him. Brought to you by BBC Learning English. All right, good. let's check out some. Look, here we have uh, more examples. All right, look, I here you have uh, that one in special. I wonder if you could tell me where Brighton Pier is. All right, and uh, so that's the structure. All right, that is the structure. Let's take a look at some examples here in the in the uh, in the explanation. So, for example, uh, this we use the word if if we are not using a question word like who, what, when, why, or how. So uh, we use the words if or whether. You can use both. Podemos usar if or whether. So that's up to you. For example, uh, let me ask uh, Maria to read the direct question. Maria, can you um, read? What, whether, what is the mean the different um, if I choose if? If or whether, they mean the same. And it, okay. you can use both. It's okay. Okay. I, wonder, okay. I, I was wondering whether you feel okay. And it's okay. Whether. It's <laughs> more, it's smart. Uh huh. Yeah. If is easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Great. Go ahead, please. Uh, read the uh, read, uh, direct question, please. Read the direct, direct question. question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did she make it on time? Okay, great. Now, uh, please, Arabella, can you read the indirect for me, please? Can you tell me if she made it on time? If, if she made it on time, yeah. To marry right. it on time. And uh, let's ask Jonathan to read the next one, please. The The... This one, the highlighted, please. Can you tell me whether she made made it on time? Like it, like it. Very good, very good. All right, great. Uh, now, please, please. Uh, Andrea, can you read the direct question here, please? Is this the right? Bus for Oxford Street. All right, great, great, very good. And uh, Romulo, continue with the indirect, please. Do you have any idea if it's the right bus for Oxford Street? For Oxford Street, yeah. Good. Do you have any idea? So you can use that one. Great. And um, let's see. And Lillian. Can you read the direct question, please? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any idea if it is this right bus or Oxford Street? Oh, uh, I think the direct question, this one. Oh, there, okay. <laughs> is she French? All right, good. Is she French? And uh, Camila, can you read this one, please? Do you know whether she is French? Or All right, good. And uh, you can use the phrase or not at the end if you would like to, but it's really up to you. It's optional, all right? So these are the forms. These are the forms that we can use to make questions, all right? Now, uh, I, want you to, I want you to make indirect questions about the following things I will leave here in the chat, all right? First, all right, you're going to make questions with these phrases that I'm leaving here in the chat, all right? And uh, mm -hmm. all right. 
very good. Now, please, uh, I want you to make these questions in a separate space, probably on a notebook or, or anywhere, okay? But do not put them in the chat, not right now. Just let's do it on your, on your, on a notebook. But yeah, Aleida, now that you're giving us this, help, please, can you, uh, can you read the complete question for the, fr uh, for the first phrase I, I gave? You said, can you tell me if, can complete it, please. Aleida. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, can you read the complete question for the first phrase? Can you tell me if? Um, can you tell me if uh, are you lazy in the morning? If you are, if you are busy. Are you, mm -hmm. Can you in the morning? If you are busy in the mornings. All right, one more time. Can you tell me if you are busy in the morning? Acuérdense que cuando nosotros le agregamos esta frase introductoria, la pregunta ya no conserva la estructura de pregunta, o sea, o sea que lleva el, la frase, el, el auxiliar primero, sino que va en, en formato de oración. Can you tell me if the store is open? Can you tell me if you are busy in the morning? Como que fuera una oración, pero... Eh, pero, o sea, lo único que se hace es cambiar el orden. All right? Good. Now, please, make this in a separate space. All right? Let's use these phrases. Utilicen esas frases que les puse. Okay? And uh, make your own sentences, your own questions. Please do not put them in the chat. All right? Do you know if the store is open? Good, Jonathan. Good. That's one. That's it. All right, please do it on a notebook, separate space, because we will discuss them, all right? We'll discuss them with the class, all right, with, with, a, with, a, with a small group. Ya les voy a preguntar uno por uno, a ver si hacen bien, all right? Good. All right, uh, when you finish, please, uh, please raise your hand or, or react in any other way if you have finished. Once you finish, please just raise your hand. All right, uh, you guys finished?
Okay, great. Are you guys done? Have you guys uh, have you guys uh, finished? Yep. Okay. Let's read the first one. All right. I'm gonna put them here in the in in the board. Now let's pull up a board. All right. Andrea finished. Great. I knew she would finish fast. All right. Um, yeah, board. And uh, good. Mario did finish as well, which is great. And um, all right, let's see. Romulo finished as well. All right, good. Who else is finished? All right, great, great, very good. So I'm gonna start one by one. I'm gonna read them one by one. So uh, first, First, uh, let's see. The store is open. All right. Uh, Romulo, can you read uh, that one? Can you make it an, in, uh, an indirect question? Can you make an indirect question with these uh, words? Uh, your microphone. It's okay. All right. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if the a store is open? Perfect. Can you tell me if the store is open? Like it. Mm -hmm. Great. And uh, and uh, Romulo? Question mark or period? Uh, Question mark. Yeah. Good job. Hey, let's see. Next one. Uh, next one is uh, Mario's. Mario, how about number number two? I mean, you will come to class. Can you make? Uh, you will come to class tomorrow. Can you make a question with that one, please? Okay. Um, can you tell me whether you will come to class tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. Whether you will come to class tomorrow? Great, please. Uh, let's see somebody else. Let's see, um, Camilla. Next one, please. You Can are busy in the mornings. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if you are busy in the morning? Tell me if you are busy in the mornings. Question mark or period, Camilla? I think yes, question mark, but I don't know. You are right. Okay. You are right. All right. Great. Uh, Camilla, select another classmate, please, for the next one. Okay. Um, Aleida? All right. All right, neighbor. Uh, Alida, please. Uh, next one. You are uh, taking any other classes? Do you know whether uh, we are taking any other classes? Uh huh. I think my, my bad in here. My bad. I think I made an error. But uh, here is uh, you are if you are taken. So si fuera you, cómo lo pondría usted? If you... Uh, do you know whether I'm taking any other classes? Uh-huh, do you know? Okay, do you know if... Podríamos cambiar esa frase. Can you change that phrase? Y ya les explico por qué. Can you change that phrase, please? Do you... En lugar de decir, do you know? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you tell me if you you are mm -hmm. uh, you are taking any other classes? Any other classes? Okay, great. 
All right. Uh, now let us explain por qué. Look, here, uh, here you are, I'm asking you a question about yourself, okay? So, see, asking, oh, asking do you know, it's probably a little illogical. It makes no sense. Like, do you know if you are taking any other classes? Of course you know. Claro que sabe, porque le estoy preguntando a usted, o sea, no le estoy preguntando sobre alguien más, ¿verdad? Es por eso. So, uh, so that, that's, that's, that's why. But don't worry, your, your example was good. Uh, yeah, Maria, next one. Drink enough water during the day. You, all right? If you drink... Can you... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Can you tell me whether... Mm -hmm. Drink... In the subject, please. Whether... You are. You, okay. Whether you... Continue. Drink enough water... Okay, water. During the day. Okay, can you tell me if you drink enough water during the day? All right, great, thank you. And uh, the last one is on, uh, on uh, Aries, Aries, last one, please. Aries, uh, let's ask uh, Andrea if Aries can't. Andrea? Can you tell me mm -hmm. where you exercise during the week? Yeah, good. During the week. All right, very good. So look, this is your work. You, you did it. Great job. All right, now before we do that though, I have to run attendance one more time. Just give me a second. Um, for the ones who were not here at the beginning. All right, let's see. Um, Claudia Evelyn Hernandez, no está presente. Shane Zohar Demin Cabrera, tampoco está. Gloria Beatriz Elías Alegría Orellana, tampoco. Elías Samuel Orellana, tampoco. Okay, muy bien. Continuamos. So, uh, now look, in small groups, in the last minutes, we're going to ask and answer these questions, all right? You know, have a little chat using, uh, using these questions. So, I'm... Um, uh, I'm gonna send a. I'm gonna send a screenshot of this to your WhatsApp group, and uh, you will discuss them with your uh, with your classmates. All right. So let's just uh, screenshot this and uh, send it over to your WhatsApp group. There you go. All right. The, uh, the questions are being sent to your WhatsApp group. Let us work in small groups for a minute and uh, answer these questions. All right. Let's recreate them. All right. There you go. Please uh, accept the invitations and let's talk. Let's practice. Use the ones on blue on the left. And if possible, please, y si pueden, eh, hagan esas preguntas con otras frases. O sea, no solo can you tell me, can you tell me, can you tell me. Change it, like, I wonder if, do you know if, or can you tell me, or sorry, can you tell me, would you tell me, I like to know, cualquiera, menos, uh, eh, para variar, el can you tell me, okay? Use, use others, all right, for more practice. Good, go, go ahead. Please go to go and work with your group. 
Then, estoy en el teléfono es más difícil. Quiero ver. Then, other question maybe is el teléfono que me lo hiciste, Juan. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody else can ask if if Annabelle is not ready. Yes. Um, ya hicimos la primera. Mm -hmm. Ask another. Okay. Um, this. The service open. Repeat, please. I wonder if the service is open. I wonder. Mm -hmm. Please answer. Yeah. Okay. I wonder is. Is the store open? Dijo, I don't hear open. you. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. The store is open. Uh, yes, the store is open now. All right, good, good. Continue, please. Other questions. Okay, All right, let's other questions. Speed up, speed up. All right, wake up, wake up, wake up. All right, I'll go check on the other groups. Okay. Did you, do you know if? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I never have time to do exercise. Because yeah. I'm very busy all week and the weekends too. Actually at home, like, I don't like to do exercise. I... You don't like, but it's very good because it's very relaxing. And you can put out the stress. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Get rid of I didn't do because I have no time, but it's very, it's very nice. Sometimes, sometimes make like a, I don't know, maybe Zumba or something like that. <laughs> oh. It's good. Go there and sleep on time. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Oh no. Pero es para hacia mí, hacia mí o hacia... Ah, sí, sí. Can you tell me if you sleep on time? Mm -hmm. If you sleep on time. Mm. Uh, okay, <laughs> yes. It, well, not. Uh, I stay awake uh, for one hour more later, finish uh, the class. After you finish the class. After finish the class. Thank you. All right, good. All right. That's, hey, that's good. Okay. All right, remember we say go to bed, right? Go to bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Hey, keep going. I see you're, you're, making, you're making other questions, right? Like you finished the ones and, and now you're making new questions, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Hey, you keep going, guys. Continue. Great, 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 great. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Camila. Hi. Mm -hmm. Do you have... Yes, I, I, I am... I am busy in the morning. Will you tell me if 
Are you are taking any other classes? Could you tell me? Would you tell me? Would you tell me? Uh, ah, could okay. you tell me? Okay. And uh, if you are taking any other classes? Uh, yes, uh, yes, I am. I am taking another class. Is correct, teacher? Yeah. And uh, both the question and the answer are are good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like it. Hey, we're going back. All right. Okay. All right. Let's get them back from breaker rooms. All right, everybody coming back. Hey, guys. We're just about to finish, just have a, uh, a couple of you asking the questions, all right, before we leave. So, uh, please, 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 uh, break our rooms are over, I guess. Uh, still coming back. All right. So, uh, please, please, uh, uh, Aleida, ask one of the questions to anybody in the room. Any classmate, please. Menos yo, teacher. Fine. Fine. Anybody but Andrea. Okay. Um, I, I wonder if... Um, Mario, Mario. Mm -hmm. I wonder if... Uh, this door is open. All right. Good. Mario? Um, no, I don't. No, I don't know. You don't know. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all right. Uh, next, Aravela. Uh, ask any question to anybody. Any question from the you know, from the, from the picture, or you can make your own, but be careful. All right, go ahead, please. Aravela, can you hear me? We can't. Hi. Right, can ahead. you tell me, can you tell me where you will come to the class tomorrow. Who are you asking? Uh, Camila. All right. Camila? Mm -hmm. Camila? <laughs> yes, 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 I'm coming. Yeah, all right, yes, sir. All right, fine. You guys, uh, thank you very much for joining today. I will see you all tomorrow. And, uh, please continue practicing, and you'll have a good night, all right? Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.